Hello guys, hope you are well today. I have some big news for you. Unreal Engine 5.3 preview is already there, guys. I know it's kind of real because 5.2 is really recent, but there are some really interesting features that I want to show you. Let me explain this. Epic Games is putting out all the stops for a simple objective to have a complete workflow on Unreal Engine and avoid using other DCC. Among all the new features and updates, I found two features very interesting and game-changing. The first one is modeling tools. It presents brand new UI and some really interesting features. Bye-bye the old complex user interface, welcome to the new easy one to use. We have now the possibility of adding faves. This will optimize your creation time, as you used to waste a lot of time looking for the correct tool. Via mesh element selection, you can now add a side toolbar that will facilitate selection of faces, edges and vertices of your mesh. And that's really really cool. There is also some things that I'm sure you guys will love is spline mesh. This is a very interesting one, as you may need to model something quite quickly without having to go back to another software. Using draw spline, you can draw the path you want and then revolve it or extrude it. The skeletal editor is the second feature I wanted to show you guys because for me it's one of the most important. You can now convert a static mesh into a skeletal directly in Unreal Engine. You won't need any DCC. You can now put a bone, create all the skeletal rig and skin directly in Unreal Engine. And that also is a major game changer. Of course guys, I'm just scratching the surface here and I will give you in the description the link to the Unreal Engine public roadmap of this new version and you will be able to see all the new features and updates in depth. It's getting a little bit late here, but I really wanted to make this video for you guys because this is really a game changer. Hope you will find this video interesting and this new version also. But remember, this is an experimental one, so you have to test it. Don't use it in production because it's not really stable. I've just talked to you guys one of the features I really find interesting from my point of view because I will use it in my workflow, but you have a lot of new features and updates that might interest you. So don't hesitate to look at the roadmap I just talked about and you will find all the information you need. And now I have to stop a little bit my computer and just get some rest because it's getting late and I have to maybe, I don't know, play some Zelda, I don't know. All right guys, see you around.